Oh, yeah, I really did it. And it doesn't run, so let's get it in the backyard and uh, kind of go over this uh, Sylvia Q. What is up? Oh my god, I haven't talked to you guys in over two weeks. It's on, on YouTube, I talked to a bunch of guys on Instagram. Life has been crazy. That's how I'm gonna start it. But, the car you guys have, or the car you guys almost didn't see is right here in front of me. It is a 1992 S13 Silvia True Right Hand Drive from the Motherlands. And it is a gorgeous car. Uh, the hood is... The hood is kind of a little messed up, a little issue, but uh, other than that, this car is perfect. Brick headlights, really good paint, except for all the bird shit all over. I don't know if cars like, I mean, I don't know if birds love shitting on fucking red objects. This is one morning sitting out front of my house, but Sylvia Q, S15 seats, all kinds of goodies, HKS coilovers. It's sweet, and check this out. This is on the Sylvia's. That's pretty cool. Hydro's still around. Hydro's the best dog ever. What's up, buddy? Come here. Come here. What? What? Hydro's still doing good. But yeah, just had a drift event in this thing, and it was rad. Ah. Tiny wheels. These tires look cool. Shit, let me get her rolling. Oh, you guys look so damn good. <laughs> oh shit, that's fine, it doesn't matter. Woo, what's today, Quan? Drift event prep day, right? Quan's car isn't, Quan's car isn't too happy right now. Fucking drunk. Uh, well, we're gonna let him get back to that. We got this man over here. I'm burning my fingers Learning over. how to weld, welding up some Cut, a, cut fenders on the E36. My fucking pants are huge and falling down. Show him his masterpiece right here. Look at this. Wow. Oh shit, nice. dude. What a high five, dude. Shit. So, quick backstory on this. I bought this thing broken. It popped up for a pretty good deal. Don't think I got this stupid cheap though. It cost it multiple thousands of dollars, which I don't have. But, uh,. Uh, the only issue with this car, there's absolutely zero, zero rust. Uh, some dum-dum backed into it with a trailer hitch. Luckily, just missed the brick headlights, but he messed up the, uh, the hood pretty good. And as you can tell, this thing's been sitting for like two or three years in an apartment complex. Pretty much uh, saved this thing. And hopefully we are going to go get it back together because I've been craving a tiny wheels car for a while. And this thing is pretty damn dope, as you can tell. It's got S15 seats in it as well which uh, I don't know if I'm gonna keep them, but they do have some pretty good bolstering, so. Well, I should know, I got an S15. And it has the HUD thing for the speedometer on the window or whatever, but I need to find that. Let's, let's tap into this, let's get it running. All right, so not even 30 seconds in, check this out. The fucking wire to directly to the starter and alternator isn't even in there and it was covered up by this piece, so he might not have seen that. You wanna just, well shit, this has gotta be touched too. Fuck hooking it up properly, just hold them joints real quick. Yo, if this thing starts up, just because of some shit like that. Hold on, let me grab this fucking wire, get this thing out of the way. Fucking go. You ready? I don't know how to hit the clutch on this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Are you fucking serious? What? Dude. This needs to turn off. I forget. Oh, it's got a turbo timer. It's got a turbo timer. All right, so that is literally like all last night in the parking lot, right? This dude was like, it ran. I don't, I don't know why it doesn't run. Turns out that was the case. The dude was desperate to get rid of it. He was moving out of somewhere or something. But um, 
Yeah, so another issue with this car that I think reason the reason people didn't buy it, he said the oil squirter to the intake cam wasn't actually pumping oil, but he said it was on the exhaust side. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this valve cover off. I actually have oil squirters in the garage that I could replace them with, but I'm just gonna probably try to clean them out first. What's up? Now I got it in there. Oh, no, get it. Uh, I probably would want to park my fucking car out and buy it. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually really excited right now. I might have to keep this for a little bit. Oh my god, no wonder that shit's clogged. This fucking shit looks awful. Alright, check that out. That's that's definitely the worst SR I've ever seen. It's not terrible. BMW's over there, they be wild man. Serious. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna see if we're getting oil. Just just keep cranking it. We don't have no oil. All right, just stop. We don't have any oil coming out of either. Let's see if we even have oil. All right, let's let's show them the damage of being a low boy with tiny wheels. A low boy with tiny wheels. Oil pan gone. I mean, this has got to be our issue. Our pickup tube, I believe, on SRs is either right here or right here. Watch it be like back here. So we're gonna take this off. We're gonna try to undent it or swap my other pan I have. We're just getting the sway bar. Out of the way, this bolt's just hella tight. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh so we're getting the sway bar out the way. I didn't want to drop the pan, but it's really easy. We might as well. We're going to drop the pan. We'll drain the oil, drop the pan. Make sure the pickup tube is good. And then uh, try to put it back on and see if we have oil pressure. I already switched the oil squirters. It didn't do anything. I had an extra set. So this is our uh, our last shot at saving this motor. Fucking hell. It's oily under here. Hungry. Shit. All right, so this engine was definitely getting no oil pressure. You guys can see where the oil pickup tube little oval hole was smashed into the pan. So I just cleaned it up and I'm going to go ahead and undent this thing and try to get it back together and hope Hope, what the heck, what am I doing? Hope that uh, we get some oil pressure and this thing's probably gonna get rod knock after beating on. All right, dude, so camera shut off early. We have done so much to the Sylvia. It has been wild. I, I wasn't gonna finish recording this video, but I know you guys would have wanted to see this. It's been a fantastic day with Juan. We really got this thing back together. Uh, we did an oil change on it. We changed the filter, made sure there was no metal shavings in the engine. There was a little bit, but it wasn't much, so we're gonna check the oil frequently. Tomorrow, we're actually about to go test drive it. We raised the front end a little bit because this thing was on 15s, and it is like, it was really low, even though it doesn't look low. So we raised that up so we're not busting the oil pan up tomorrow. And we're about to go test drive it, but here, look, it starts right up. Yeah, Quan's driving this tomorrow because the Cressida is uh, broken. So that should be fun. I can't wait to rip it as well. We have a bunch of drift spares from this parts car I have from an S14. Let's uh, start her up real quick. Listen, this thing sounds good. Ready to rip. Right at home in this girl. This, these seats are so more, so much more comfy than mine because I think they're more worn out. This mirror is loose as a bitch. Turbo timer and boost gauge. We have a, definitely a boost leak. Sounds weird. It does! Alright, let's go.
now. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Still late as shit. Living on four hours of sleep. Yeah, show them what we're gonna do. Fucking see that exhaust hanger we had to make to get home? You guys should have saw us making it. It was funny as shit. All right, dudes, it's time to load it up on the trailer. It's drift event day. Got two cool cars, big truck, lots of tires, and some bad drivers, and we're gonna have a blast. But yeah, so Sylvia Q, so it was actually originally an NASR, and someone in Japan actually went ahead and boosted it, and it's a pretty good setup except for the tune. So it's actually on a T28 out of S15. It's got a HKS manifold, I believe, from the looks of it online. I haven't been able to find an HKS badge on it, but from the sizing of the, uh, the pipes and all that and all the pictures online, it looks, it looks just like it. And this car was built in Japan, so I don't think they would have brought an eBay part over. And then also, it's got a Gretti front mount intercooler all the way down to the front mount's Gretti as well. And stock radiator, Nismo cap, clutch fan. It's actually tuned on a FMU from, I haven't even looked at this brand, Sard, I guess you could call it. Fuel regulator, oh it just says fuel regulator. Oh this is loose, that's probably not good. I thought that was FMU. I still think it is. I don't think this thing's on ECU tune. It might be. I'm really not sure. But yeah, so we actually have to fix this car today. Um, the reason you guys almost never saw it is because it might be getting sold later today. I've just been doing crazy things along with this car over here and uh, trying to make money for the S15. And I got this car for a really good deal not running and I ended up fixing it, which you guys might have actually watched before this. Just some dumb issues that you know he could have fixed, but he didn't. And uh, I actually won a competition in this car. Sunday, they, I went to a Spirit Drift event, which a lot of you guys probably don't know what that is. When I say it was the best drift event I've ever been to, I'm not kidding, it was awesome. Thank you, Joe, if you're ever watching this, dude. It was wild, it was so fun. I didn't even know there was a competition in the middle of the day, and I ended up winning it, and it was really rad. There was supposed to be a whole video that day. My friend Berkey was supposed to come out, but he ended up getting in some something, and he just couldn't make it, and I was really upset that you guys didn't get to see that because I mean, from morning to end of the day, I mean, it was just the best day I've had in a long time. But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get working on the S13. I hope you guys uh, are excited for me to be back on the channel a little bit. And, yeah, we should be going to final bout this weekend. But, uh, yeah, the exhaust manifold came completely loose. So, well not the manifold, that's the manifold. The uh, turbo dump, the outlet, whatever you wanna call it, is completely loose. All the bolts fell off at the drift event because I was like slinging this thing super hard and I ended up breaking the exhaust hangers off. So we're gonna get this thing jacked up and try to get some bolts and get that fixed up. I actually have a new gasket if we need it as well. Comment down below if you guys feel my pain on doing bottom mount T25, T28 outlets. It is a pain. I've done this so many times. It brings back so many memories of when I first got my kooky. Shot and see if spark plugs do the trick. 
trick. Oh yeah, check out this cool ass key this car came with. Sylvia key. So I went ahead and got the typical BKR7Es. All right, got the S13 looking sharp. Got the wheels cleaned up. Hot, real three-piece Ankies. I don't know if I told you guys that, or Ankies, whatever you want to call it. Time to do the plugs. Real, real simple. And it's a fucking distributor since it's NA, so you don't even gotta pull out coil packs. Okay, I put all the old plugs back just in case we have any issues. Uh, let's go ahead and start this thing up. All right, let's see. Okay, so just got back from the test drive. Um, it was better, but it's still having issues. I'm not too worried about it. Like I said, I think I mentioned earlier, if this thing blew up, I could just get an S13 turbo motor to begin with. But uh, take one last look at her. She is clean looking. But uh, this girl right here, this is my trophy. As much as that car is cool, this thing, this thing is fucking awesome. All right, so we're gonna have a quick chat. I'm gonna go put this video up today. As you guys are watching this, I own both these cars right now. The S15 is never going anywhere. That S13 could be sold in a couple hours. I need your guys' help. I wanna hear your opinions. Um, don't just be like, keep the S13, keep them both. This is, let me just explain this to you real quick. So if I sell that S13, all right, I have money already, and I'm gonna have that money that I've been hustling hard as hell to get to make that S15. I'm talking on top. I mean, that S15, in my world, it is going to be the best S15 in the world. It might not drive the greatest, but looks wise and all this that I got planned is going to be amazing. Uh, if I keep both of them, I can still do that on the S15. It's probably just going to have to be held off two months, which is like midsummer. So it's like, do I want to have two cars that are fun and competitions with S13 and just enjoy the S15? Or do I want to do what I've always dreamed of and just ball out, build the S15 and drive it as hard as I want? My problem is, the S15, every, when I'm in it, I drive it hard, but I'm scared because I love that car so much. When I was in the S13, I love it, but it's like I was going so hard because I didn't have as much money into it. You know, I didn't love it as much as the S15, so it was like, it's good to feel that way again. But um, if I could feel that way in the S15, it's like, man, if I'm out there in the S15, holy, oh, who's that dude killing it, you know? In the S15, it's just a little more of a wow factor, which I enjoy, because I am a, I'm a showboat as much as, you know, it sounds bad to say. I am humble, I'm not like a dick, but I really do like showing off and being good. I mean, what's wrong with that? If you got it. So uh, I need you guys' help. I, I, right now, I really wanna keep both of them, but I think the decision that's best for me to have the most fun and what I really want is sell the red car, but then in the back of me, it's like I could just enjoy both of them and not care what other people think and just drive them. But the problem is I'm Steven from DS and I care what other people think and I wanna have the coolest car out there and I've always been like that with BMX, with skateboards, with having rollerblades, with, with dirt bikes. I've always wanted the best. So, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm gonna go make this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoy seeing my ugly face again. I'll make another video for you guys soon. I don't know when, I'm just stupid busy. I love you guys, you guys are awesome. Peace.